Both men with impressive records. Something's got to give. Lorenzo Smith, 10-0 with eight knockouts. He's 26 years old. Fernando Diaz with much tougher competition. Good footwork by Lorenzo Smith. You know, he has a good little rhythm going. He bends down, he puts his foot in, you know, there's feints, trying to get Diaz to fight. Yeah, what will he do in the later rounds? That's the question for Lorenzo Smith. He has 10 fights that have lasted a total of 25 rounds. That's 2.5 rounds of fight. I did the math for you, Sergio. God. The worst mathematician I've ever worked with, Sergio Moro. Work out of there, Lorenzo let Smith him go. a little Work sloppy with, with his punching. You know, his footwork seems a little athletic, but his upper body is a little uh, clumsy. You know, when he falls off balance, he's open for counter shots, but for Fernando Diaz, he's not taking Ooh. advantage of that. Overhand right scores for Smith, but you can see how reckless he was coming in, Sergio. Diaz, got, Diaz caught him with the right hook right there coming in. Smith better be careful. Smith, Smith uh, lunges in and falls off balance. But so far, I will say this, you wouldn't know that Smith hasn't beaten anyone with a win before. He looks very capable so far here in the first round. Yeah, he fights with a little swag, a little upper body movement. You know, he has athletic feet, but they're, they're a little clumsy when he falls off balance. He looks relaxed. Yeah, no, seconds, not for nothing. He's belt. cool in there, you know. He's relaxed, he's cool. He probably won the first round, too. He fights with swag, that's for sure. But he they went a big overhead right yeah. Nice opening round for Lorenzo Smith. So here we go, round three, scheduled for 10 between Lorenzo Smith in the white gloves and Fernando Diaz in the black. More competitive than you thought it might be, Sergio? No, when, you know, because like Chris said, we didn't really know what to expect from Lorenzo Smith and with Fernando Diaz, we, we know what to expect. He's a grizzly fighter, you know, with the, he, he has, uh, he, he's tough, you know, he has 12 fights, but 12 fights against guys that have actually won a fight. You can see Smith wants to turn this into more of a street fight. That'll be a push. I like that. I like the fact that he's trying to, you know, hold and punch in the inside, not wanting to hold. You know, I really like the energy of Lorenzo Smith. I like the type of fight he's trying to make it, but when he comes in, he is wild. His punches are wide. And he is open for counter shots if Diaz can find a way to hit him. I, you know, I wouldn't go as far as say, wow, just he lacks technique, Chris. You know, he lacks technique because he has, he does have athleticism. It's just his technique He's is very there. athletic, but you, you see him, like he gets a little over eager when he senses an opportunity, comes in with these over-the-top punches. If, if Diaz is disciplined and keeps those straight punches going, right. Well, well I, I see that, yeah. But if you look at his lower body, he is athletic. Oh, and he walks right into that one. And there's that another stiff shotgun jab by Diaz. I would love to see Diaz step into those shots, step into the jabs, and of course double them up. And that's what you got to do. Double up those jabs and just dig down to the body, just like he did right there for the Diaz. And now volume's becoming a problem as Lorenzo Smith just not keeping up with Diaz's pace. It's a good round by Fernando Diaz, especially in the last minute. Good body shot. I, 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 I see that right there. Fatigue, breathing heavy. Lorenzo Smith in the corner right there. And it seemed like his, his trainer had to calm him down a little bit. These are things you want to see as the fight progresses. Yeah, that looked like a push by Diaz. Sort of cuffed him around the head, swung him around. No knockdown there on that shot. So Smith sees round five for the first time. Sergio Smith just doesn't fight efficiently. Oh, and, right and right when he thought Diaz was starting to take over, Smith with a left hook sends him down. He's been looking for a home run shot throughout this fight. He gets one of them in that fifth round. Nice check hook right there. Caught Fernando Diaz getting a little bit too aggressive there. Got the knockdown. Let's see if Smith can compose himself and not get too wild here going for a knock uh, finish.
that feel more like a flash knockdown to you? It, yeah, it did. But still, knockdown to knockdown, it still gets the confidence out of your fighter. Yeah, and it raised the energy level, too. You saw how Smith reacted after he picked up that knockdown. Get a little rush of adrenaline here in the middle rounds. I mean, he sprinted to the neutral corner. <laughs> sprinted. But like you said, that'll certainly improve his morale, his moral. What's the word I'm looking for? His confidence. There's a word. It's not morals. His morale. <laughs> his morale. There we go. Sergio needs to improve his morals. I'm not touching that one. So here we go, round six. And this is a really close fight, Chris. It's very close. Uh, that knockdown could turn out to be a difference for Lorenzo Smith. I'm just very curious to see what his energy level looks like over these next few rounds. Diaz got knocked down, but as I watch him, he looks like the physically better conditioned fighter at the moment. How will that manifest itself in the next few rounds? We'll see. Yeah, I didn't see any urgency there from Smith after he got the knockdown to push the tempo or try and get Diaz in trouble again. I mean, I think he recognized, and Sergio fighters recognize in that moment whether they hurt somebody or whether they has got a flash knockdown. Smith turning southpaw now, I don't know if that's a good idea because he, he falls off balance when he's in an orthodox stance, and it's just not a good idea if you don't have the best balance to turn southpaw. Didn't you just tell me it was a good idea, that he was fine with it? I just said that. Well, he's falling off balance. Left hook and a good one from Diaz. And now they're both letting their hands go. Let him go, let him go. And not only that, but they're getting awfully close to clashing heads. Well, I think Diaz is feeling a sense of urgency now after that knockdown in round five. Ten jabs through round seven out of 117 thrown for Smith. Yeah, Diaz, again, a very disciplined type of fight that he's doing. He's operating behind that jab, 51 landed, 196 thrown, and he's following up with right hand. So I like the fight he's fighting. And again, the numbers tilt in Diaz's favor, but Smith does have that knockdown. He's right there, Diaz caught him with the left hook with his chin in the air. And that right hand got him right on the ear, Sergio. Lorenzo Smith is keeping his chin a little bit too high. He will get caught again. Boom, oh, there it is. Inside right hand from Diaz. Let's see how hungry Diaz here is here for a knockout. And there's not much behind the jab now of Smith. It's more of a flicking jab. He just missed with the uppercut. And now it's Diaz on the front foot again. Back to back left hands. The overhand left have clipped Smith right on the chin. Diaz knows he's got a home for it. Smith is keeping his chin too high in the air. He's fighting too upright. He needs to bend the knees and hold on. Get out of this round if you're Lorenzo Smith. Maybe the best round of the fight here for Leon Cito as we've got six minutes left. We approach 60 seconds left here in the final round. Swing and a miss with the left from Diaz. He's landed more punches, he's thrown more punches, he's more accurate, but he did get dropped by Smith in round five. One variable you mentioned, Todd, was that Fernando Diaz was preparing for Bam Rodriguez. So Fernando Diaz was probably in preparation camp four plus weeks for the fight of his life. He knew that would be a career defining moment for him, whereas Lorenzo Smith, while he said he was in the gym, really only took this fight on about two weeks' notice. Not only that, but Fernando Diaz was training for a southpaw as well. So that, you know, that throws out the rhythm as well. This crowd. Trying to raise the spirits of hometown Lorenzo Smith, 20 seconds to go. Big right hand by Diaz right there. I'm surprised Smith took that punch and landed right on the tip of the chin. And that will do it. 10 rounds in the books between Lorenzo Smith and Fernando Diaz, and we will go to the scorecards and find out just how much that knockdown in round five played a part. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 exciting rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. One more time, Phoenix, show your love for both of these warriors inside the ring tonight. Here are the totals. Dennis O'Connell and Rocky Taylor both see it 96-93.
Chris Wilson has it 95-94. All for your winner by unanimous decision. El Leoncito Fernando Diaz. Yeah, that's the right scorecard. Diaz fought an excellent fight. And if you're Lorenzo Smith, you look at this tape and you can learn a lot about yourself and you can improve from there. Maybe a little bit more disciplined, work a little bit more on your conditioning. He's got, he's got raw talent. He'll be back.